This is a short video for TGR Fridays um, about Program Express, a web-based portfolio program project reporting solution, where our aim is to automate project reporting, replace labor-intensive processes with a quick-to-implement, simple and intuitive, and cost-effective solution. Now, this is the login page of Program Express. You'll see we've applied your uh, logo here. Log on as the administrator of Program Express, and you can be an administrator, a right access user, or a read only user. When I log on to the home page as an administrator, they can see all projects and all modules. And if I open up the portfolio, purely demo project and uh, data structure, um, we can see the health of all the projects broken down by their modules using red, amber, green formatting. Um, and the modules are best described through the updates tab as commentary plan, resources, cost, benefits, impacts, risks, and logs, along with other functionality. From this screen, you can view the health and drill down further. We'll come back to that. Or you can run reports that you have set up, or you can run reports that have been shared by the central projects team or the program office or the PMO. Now, Program Express is very much about simple data input and powerful program and report portfolio reporting outputs. Um, the experience for the user will be the same screen, but a different view. So if we log on as a user, you'll see the same home screen, but you'll see very much a filtered view of just the projects that they are required to write to or edit and just the modules that we expect them to populate so in this case commentary plan costs and risks so as a project manager i'd be expected to click on the commentary see what i said last time make an update move on to the plan screen have a look at the plan see if any changes need to be made move on to the cost screen have a look at the budget information update our latest forecast against the plan, move on. Let's have a look at the risks. Have a look at the risks that we've got, see if we need to update and change. Once we've done that, very simple experience. Um, we would probably want to have a look at what the data looked like in a report. So we'll run a report that uh, we've set up in my reports as a one page summary. And here, we just have a look and see plan on a page specifically for a project, some RAG information, milestones, financials, and the commentary threads that we've configured specifically for this report. So that's the experience of a user, very simple data input. Everybody using the same methodology will mean that we can now get consistency, log back on as the administrator, and we can start to get a view of all the project information. So again, same, back to the same home screen with all the data. We may want to on screen look at and look at the status. Uh, the reds will be drawn to us, so we'll filter out the green, filter out the amber. Um, then as an example, we can click on project 1C. Uh, we can see that there's a red there in terms of cost. We can drill down and we can see the forecast cost against the plan, which is out of tolerance and therefore a red status. Now from there, um, what we're probably likely to do is want to start running some reports. Everybody's using the same method, which means that we can now um, have consistency and run reports from program or portfolio level. I use an example of portfolio, but the same applies to program level as well. Uh, one that's been set up, a RAG status summary. This is a bit like the Excel, an Excel format, which consolidates and aggregates everything into one report. And you'll see all the project information against programs, a bit of start and end date, uh, commentary, some RAG information. And that's what we've configured for this report, but we could change the configurations if we wanted to. Or we might want to run a Gantt chart report. Again, we're running from the portfolio level. So this will produce the plan of action for every single project with every single program within the database. So you'll see here typical Gantt chart. We use the red, amber, green 
methodology for our taskbars, red meaning missed and amber meaning forecast to be later than expected. We're using the same data, um, different view, the milestone summary view. So this will be timeline milestones on a row per project, higher level view, showing the health of the milestones, expected delivery dates, um, and a very simple and automated view. Or maybe lastly, a resource usage summary. So instead of needing a, an independent Excel, you can align your resources to the plan and it produces this type of Excel format, which is very simple, and shows your resources what projects they're working on, the number of days in a period, aggregating up to the top level, showing anything that's out of tolerance, which in this case is here and here, and there are other resource reports that you can also run. So that's just a very, very short um, demo um, to give a bit of flavor. And having seen that video, you'll see the contact details there if you want to get in touch. Um, and then the call to action would be either to arrange a webinar, which is you know, the full functionality, maybe a 60 minute webinar, or maybe an on-site meeting, a face-to-face, -face, or, or a phone call discussion to discuss um, the costs and maybe plan a pilot implementation. Uh, but thank you very much for watching the video.